1988. I left this country in 1988. Uh, December. In December. I went on a travel and I went to Libya. So when I arrived in Libya, so I was there trying to find something. So now in in no? Uh, in that time, during that uh, uh, finding something, at that time Libya was in a war with Chad. So the year that Gaddafi uh, 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 took over in a coup, and the month he did it, September 4th, was September 1st. So neo Karoni Sira. Whenever uh, that month comes back again, if you are in Libya in those days, whether you are in the capital or in a remote village, so they follow people arrest by force. And they arrest people by force. They take you to Mindo. They take you to a military camp. Recall training for Sekono. To train you there by force. And after the training, they'll take you to the war front because in those days ah. they were fighting with Chad. So for love Taraba, for my love, I'm a new blow them. Whether you like it or not, but if they catch you, if they some bala, they will take you. Uh, was this limited to foreigners or Libyans were also subjected to the same treatment? For Nindum. Banku memang ke banku ti banku dingol drone deh. Wal drone nam bank for hari Libya dingol fano da ba kono lebang. Hari Libya dingol fano da ba kono. Ba asembe ma kake forano solari. Libyans were also involved, but the majority of the people who were treated like that were foreigners. Proceed. Enteng. Yo sa ni ni asamba wo base wo nindo. If they take you to that base. So near areas when I hear some babies on so I call training. And uh, when you reach the base, they will start training you. What so, what's the name of the base? Oh base in your The base full of do be the cabo jay tajura cabo do wadu arabia. There are two bases. One is called Tajura and the other one is called Wadu Arabia. So you can more somebody in base full of learn. These are the two bases where they take people for training. So need to know base all corner. The moment you enter those bases, one of them, Aroni rebel who be here Africa corner back. In those days, there were many rebel movements in Africa. Uh, but Mr. Witness, do you are you aware that there was another base called the Maktaba? Oh, see, do for any of us, we have base do be the government Mak the Maktaba. Maktaba, we come as a officer, we come as a Niko Jang Nai. Matava is just like an office, like in the Gambia here, if you say NIA. Uh, uh, NIA, sign in base or baby or Matava in Okoto. And these military bases were all under the jurisdiction of Matava. But, but, so but, it will never the president of another quarter. Of another. And they were also responsible for the affairs of the president. Uh, uh, are you aware that uh, it was at the Matava? Uh, that the senior African revolutionaries were trained. Ako, for any kalamutala ko, any maktaba dingira nying, any African liberation kelala nying, ila nyarong kol nying, ye karandi wala ro. Nga kalamuda kenda ke? Yes, I know that very well. So mina je sena ndira. I will clarify that point. Proceed, please. So, o mataba nying. That Mataba, so I said they were responsible for the, for the presidential affairs. Anything that is a, a, a military matter, or uh, intelligence, they are responsible for all. So Those people were very powerful in, the in, in Libya. Uh -huh. in Libya. So, so I told the Nalbe training a base. So I told the Kerala Marle Nga Lakho Bela. Even during those training in those bases, still uh, they are responsible for all of that training and the base itself. Because we are on Nalbe training now, camp also. Because when we were going, undergoing the training in, uh, at those camps, the president of Nalbe Siri, uh, some presidents are sitting today. 
No only training can you know. We did training with some of those people. Can you give Mata. us examples? Like Mr. Lodina, no? Example like Idrissa David. Char. People like Idrissa Debi who was in charge. Idris Debi. Idris Debi. Ah, Idris Debi. Idris Debi. So I uh, Mandela no model. What we mean Mandela Bulano? Uh, plus people who were uh, Mandela's people, uh, because in those days Mandela was not yet ah, released. There was Charles Taylor in Maktaba. Charles Taylor been in Maktaba, leba. Ah, mina. Yes, I'm coming. Proceed. We are going to go to Maktaba. Because the African leaders will move Jamaica will letter Maktaba. Dunia fanna be in dunda yeka hadama dingo jibe lefonya ida. In those days, there are many African leaders who went through Mataba, and many people also from many parts of the world. If you go into Mataba, you see people until you become puzzled. So, I call over the dunya warra. That's where you come to know that the world is so very large. Had the man dingo see for ability, because you find all kinds and types of people in there. And in Asia, kono. Even in Asia. Kurdistan up to Kurdistan and many others you find them there. So Charles Taylor from Ambejere. And Charles Taylor was also there. And Alan Mol from Ambejere. With his people. So all Bebe or Kampolo. They were all in that camp. Up to Sambasanyang. Up to Kukwe Sambasanyang. How about Sanko? Sanko no. Sanko. Ah, for the Sanko from Ambejere. Yes, for the Sanko was also there. Ah, Bebe training in Yokanji. We all did the training together there. Ah, kata Rwanda la. Plus the present sitting president of Rwanda. You mean Paul Kagame? Yeah, Paul Kagame. Paul Kagame. Yes, Paul Kagame. Ah, but the former Mangela leader followed it. But he was not their original leader. Ah, the first leader in Rwanda. Their original, the first leader died. Ah, so no one be training can you? We did training with all those people. And the most jama jama jama. Most many people. Because because long ago. There are people whom you don't know, you don't even know where they came from. But what was the purpose of all this? the <laughs> The main reason for that is uh -huh. many of the uh, uh, people who were at Mataba were there. They ran away from their countries because they were not in good terms with the sitting presidents in their own countries. So their intention is to come to Mataba, do their training. If they have support, they will go and overthrow the government that they left behind. Uh -huh. So I think Chenia Balabangombe, Usain Farhadin. And uh, near Kenya, there is a country, and somebody called Usain Farhadin was also uh, with us there. Moza, sorry, uh, yeah. Somalia. 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 I know for another bit, another from bit training. Can you? We did training all there with him and his people. Waro I left ano kola presa ome be. I left ano kola bondi lano. He said uh, the 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 sitting president at that time. Uh, that's the person they wanted to remove. I go, Kafa, I go, Dictator Fulham. He was a Fulaman and uh, he was a dictator. Siad Bari. Siad Bari, ha, Dictator Siad Bari. Siad, Siad Bari. Siad Bari. Dictator Siad Bari, yes. So he left all of Bondi Lanu. They wanted to obtopple him. Uh, uh, but, but, him. But, uh, do you have an idea uh, what was in this for, for, for Libya, for Gaddafi? <laughs> See, for What I observed in those days was Gaddafi, what he wanted in Africa was that to become one of the most powerful leaders in Africa because in those days he was not in good terms with uh, the Europeans.